Hey everyone, my name is Drew and we are here. This is going to be week number three, I believe, of the UBL, the Ultimate Battle League. We're up against Hera Horde and Hera has been a really nice guy to me. Uh, we met through uh, my involvement in the UBL and he's just been really nice. We competed pretty hard against each other and he kind of destroyed me last season. But this is going to be the matchup this time. I feel pretty darn good about it in all honesty. Uh, he does have the Lander, he does have the Magneton, the Superior, Tapu Fini, super big threats. The Cobalion is pretty scary, but like I said, I don't feel too, too bad about this matchup. Uh, I can't let the Superior do what it wants to do. I do have a Milotic that is Rindo Berry, um, Mirror Coach. It is competitive as well, so maybe I can bluff a, um, a Adrenaline Orb and get some momentum going if the Landorus comes in and my Swellow just is going to be a monster. I know it is, I know it is. But we also have a Spex um, Shaman and a Ghost DMZ Garchomp with Shadow Claw specifically for the Mesprit, but it's going to get big damage off on something. It is a pretty darn offensive Garchomp. It's the first time I'm really going with it with as offensive of a Garchomp. Uh, I'm pretty excited about it. And uh, just in doing some initial calcs, that Ghost DMZ is going to do so, so much to, to that Mesprit. But regardless, I just want to get into the match. Um, and we actually had to recreate this match quite a few times. So we disconnected a few times. And also, in our attempts of recreation, we also had some unfortunate uh, crits, some, uh, some secondary effects, special defense raises, that type of stuff. And it just made the whole experience really tough. And we were both super tired. I was exhausted. I know he was. It was really uh, early in the morning for him. So it was a struggle to get this thing done. However, I lead off with my Incineroar. I knew it was a decent anti-lead. I can pivot out on whatever comes out. Now, I went for the Flare Blitz. I kind of thought that he would stay in to just get a rocks, but I knew in my heart, I knew, knew, knew in my heart that I should have just clicked U-turn. He would have switched out. Um, I unfortunately didn't. He could have close combat and me done a whole butt ton of damage, but I knew in my heart that I should have just um, clicked U-turn, but I never did click U-turn. I take the Flare Blitz and I know that I have to switch out into my Shaman. Again, my Shaman is spec, so I'm confident enough that I can deal massive, massive damage to this Feeny. And he goes for the Nature's Madness, which kind of stunk. I knew that it was a possibility. I knew that it was a possibility from the beginning, but I was kind of more hoping that I would be able to, to just like eat a Surf or something like that. It is what it is. Unfortunately, I did have to take half damage, but he has no switch ins to his spec seed flare, and I just needed to get a whole bunch of damage off on his team. I know I have the the build to kind of wear down this team over time and do the most to him. Now, I get a crit in this recreation. Now, it, it was okay because um, no matter what, in our first time doing this, I two hit the, the superior, so it didn't matter at all. And then in our recreations, I see it flared and he got a special defense raised because of contrary, which messed up my ability to be able to, to, to it KO it. So that was super unfortunate. This crit kind of worked um, for us. Even if he did get the special defense raise, I would have been able to take it out with another seed flare, but um, it doesn't matter for the um, outcome of the match. Now here, I knew he was going to get up rocks. I was reasonably confident about that, but regardless, I knew that my best switch in would be this Milotic. I can get a free scald off on something. Again, this match was a lot more about being able to wear down his team. I knew he had the obvious Magneton switch and he could have switched back into Superior. Who knows what he would have done. But uh, we do see him go out into the Magneton here and it was it was a weird moment for me, right? So in, in my heart of hearts, I was really hoping that um, it would do over half and I could cleanly two hit it, but I don't. Now, I ran all the counts. I knew that I could take a Thunderbolt decently well and I just go for the Mirror Coat. Again, this is primarily for the Superior, but I knew if I was ever in this situation that getting this Magneton out of the way was a huge, huge help for my, um, for my Mons like the Spec Shaman and the, um, What's the other one? For my Diancie as well. And he does give me the competitive boost, which blew my mind. It blew my mind in the moment because I didn't end up making myself Adrenaline Lord, but if I did, if I did and got the plus two special attack from competitive, that could have been so huge. But unfortunately, I switched to Rindo Baby pretty much at the last second. I really did think to myself to go with uh, Ad Adrenaline Lord, but I didn't. And um, it honestly made me think that this thing was scarfed because uh, that was the only reason he'd be confident enough to uh, go, go in there and give me the, that competitive and give me a potential adrenaline lore, but either way, 
I go in to intimidate with my Incineroar, and this time I did know that uh, the right play would be to click U-turn. I click the U-turn, I get the heck out of here, and I believe I go into my Shaman, because again, he doesn't have any switch-ins really to his spec Shaman. Spec Seed Flare is just doing so much damage, and I ran all the counts, and even if I do have to give up the Shaman right here, right now, it would be so worth it for all of this damage onto this dang um, Tapu Fini. So here, he switches in his Cobalion, which is not too good of a switch in because this Seed Flare, even resisted, is going to do right around half. It does almost exactly half, but uh, I know he can take me out. I'm going to let him take me out. It's totally fine. I considered maybe do, uh, switching here, but Cobalion does a whole lot of work to my team. I really didn't want to play with that too, too much. I go into my Diancie, and from here, I know that... Um, my Diancie can take it out with a Moonblast, but here is where things kind of start going downhill a little bit, right? Um, I didn't realize until just this moment right now that uh, I accidentally made my Diancie a modest one. It is intended to be a uh, timid specifically to outspeed this Cobalion at max speed no matter what, and he gets a free close combat off. Honestly, it doesn't even matter for the, for the shape of the match, but this is the first kind of sign that things aren't really going to go well, and uh, I'm able to take it out fine. Everything's fine. Uh, he didn't even have Iron Head because he never expected to be in a situation where he could outspeed a Diancie, and he shouldn't have been. In honesty, I should have been fine in that situation, but now I'm in a position where I have to... Uh, just Moonblast into this thing, get the damage, and um, move on, try to uh, take out this Feeny in other ways, and here's where I make the second biggest possible mistake I could have made. The uh, terrain dissipates, but I go into my Swellow, and I'm running all these calcs, and I notice that uh, Brave Bird should do more than enough damage in this situation, but... What I didn't realize was that because I switched it in cleanly like that, I didn't get the flame orb popped. And without the flame orb, I can't KO with anything. I could have clicked facade if it was under flame orb, but the fact that I didn't realize that just made me give up my swallow, my biggest um, win con for absolutely free. And after I'd already dealt with his two steel types, his two steel types were gone. So now my swallow was so free to just click facade all dang day long. And, uh, I made a mistake. I made a mistake. Literally, all that I had to do was this. If I had gone into my Incineroar, uh, I had taken a Surf, like I'm about to do right now because I am Assault Vested. I love Assault, assault Vested Incineroar. If I had just done that, clicked U-Turn, and then gone into my Swellow, then Swellow claims a KO with Facade for absolutely free. No questions asked at that point. But, for whatever reason, it didn't click in my head, and, uh that I wasn't Flame Orb and that my Flame Orb would not have popped because I switched it in cleanly. And in honesty, this is a massive, massive, massive choke on my part. And now in honesty, I am I, I would be down to three Pokemon left. I have an Incineroar, I would have had an Incineroar that uh, doesn't even take another Stealth Rock switch in. I would have had a Swellow that he can switch in something on and a Garchomp, which who knows, he, he probably has answers for. But the mods on his side were the uh, Landorus, the Mesprit, and uh, the Feeny, which goes down. Maybe something else? Um, no, that's it. And, again, I had the Z Shadow Claw for the Mesprit. I could do massive, massive damage to that. I can. I had the free Incineroar sack um, if he brings in the Landorus to intimidate me. And uh, Swellow was there. Swellow Facade just does so much damage, and I'm so disappointed just at the way that this turned out because I know I could have won this match. I know I could have won this match if I had um, played it a little bit more carefully. Literally, all I had to do was go into Incineroar first. You turn into Swellow, and then Facade is the freest it could possibly be. I honestly feel like I choked it. I feel like I played the first half of the game incredibly well. I think I genuinely played that well. And then, like I said, things just started going downhill in a way that... Uh, I was truly hoping that it didn't. And in fact, my Diancy could have actually possibly taken a surf from that type of Fiend. He got one final hit off, and that would have made my life so much easier. But again, the fact that my Diancy wasn't timid and that it had to take that unnecessary damage from Cabalion forced me in a position where I couldn't even 
take the surf if I tried. And uh, from there, I just misplayed with that swallow really, really hard. I really do feel like I should have won this match. Uh, I felt like I played that early game pretty darn well, but that's going to be how it goes. I am two and one. We will go into playing Jodor really, really soon. And I want to redeem myself. I want to go three and one. I want to do well for the rest of this season. Uh, but yeah, that was just a really, really rough loss. But for right now, that's going to be it for me. We're going to have more weeks of the UBL really, really soon. And uh, the MPL match from yesterday will be tomorrow with ICPA as well coming up really, really soon. And with that, I'll be once again out.